Biryani, a dish famous throughout South Asia, has become a go-to meal for people around the world. And the best way I can describe this dish is imagine a curry is mixed with semi-cooked rice and then cooked again, and then you have the magic dish. Now there are several versions of biryani, all of which I love, but I'm on a mission today to find Dubai's best biryani. And I've been told that there's a restaurant where Chef Ali Mohammed has created it. Today, we're gonna put it to the test. Let's go. So we are getting behind the scenes access into the kitchen where all the secrets will come out. How is the best biryani made? Mm, the first thing as soon as you walk in is the, the spices that hit me straight away. And yep, there it is, the bread, the tanur bread that they make. Fresh. Oh. This is, this is the magic, huh? Yeah. If you take a look inside, you have a combination of it. You have the white rice here, and then you yeah. have the one that was mixed with the curry. Very intense, and then you mix the two together, yeah? So every day, the Pakliari restaurant will make five of these big pots of biryani, equaling up to 500 plates of biryani that are all sold out in a couple of hours. High demand, if you're not here, they are gone. No experience at a South Asian restaurant would be complete without none. You know, those beautiful flour and bread. And I'm a bread fanatic. Magical. Let's take a closer look. So this is the way it's classically made in these clay pot ovens where they just stick it on, wait till the bubbles come out, nice and hot and crispy. Thing is, everything is operated with those two sort of handles. They use it to check the bread, pick the bread, move the gas. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go, see? And it's kept fresh in these pieces of cloth. Right here, you've got the nans, and here you have all these selection of gravies, chicken, vegetables, mutton. The choice is yours. Before, before you already had a restaurant in Pakistan. Yeah, it's and my big brother. Big brother. Yeah. And then you open here. Why did you come to Dubai? The yeah, first time I come in 74. Pakistan, very good. Big kitchen. Yeah, you know? in the Pakistan. It's big Pakistan kitchen. Over here. I speak, you, I come to Dubai, you're working. You speak, you go, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> you know I'm not coming. First time is coming, 15 years I come. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, five restaurants. Alhamdulillah. Uh, after week opening, inshallah, another one. Another one. Another one, inshallah. Inshallah, 50 restaurants. 500. Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. So I want to ask you, chef, what is the most important ingredient in a biryani? Like it needs to be perfect. Biryani masala. The masala, huh? Yeah. Spices. spices. So if the spices are not good, the biryani is yeah, not, good. not good. Everything else can be perfect. Yeah. But if spice is not working, that's it. Cancel the order. Cancel the order. <laughs> now, chef, my my team and I, we're going to test your biryani. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. And we're gonna see is it the best. Now, I'm not a food critic, and I wouldn't expect you all to believe me automatically when I say it's the best biryani. So that's why the team and I are gonna try it and see. Does it live up to the name? Yes, sir. So which one you like, Briani? The spicy one, the normal one? Spicy. All the way. We're not playing games here. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I know we're all gonna regret this by the end of it. All of us. Here we are, the moment of truth. The biryani has been placed in front of the team and I. Each one has either chosen chicken or mutton. I have chosen mutton, and I'm gonna give it its first shot. This is extra spicy. We've got a bit of bread to neutralize, and is this yogurt, right? We're gonna need this on standby in case things get a little uh, hot. Yeah, is that what I mean? All right, so balance, right? So it's also on the customer. So I got my meat here. Got a bit of the spicy rice. Take a little bit of the white rice on top. First, this is my first piece of food for the day. First time trying this biryani in this restaurant. Bismillah. Makes me happy. Oh, that's good. You know, I, in my heart, I want to say a 10. I really, in my heart, I want to say a 10. But I always believe that you should give room for improvement. 
like inspired. So I would give it a 9.5. But that is a good, good biryani. See, look, see, look at how soft the meat is. The question, is it the best biryani in Dubai? This is the best biryani I've had in Dubai. So just to be fair, and know that I'm not biased or anything like that, we're gonna get the team's reactions. And we have a gentleman here who claims to be an expert on these things. He's having a second bite, he hasn't said anything yet. Oh yeah. It's quite by far the best. Real? Not, really? Not the really? Really? Yeah. The meat is really good. That's what I, yeah. Soft, huh? Right. That's the important part. really nice. I, uh, I haven't really eaten much biryani, so I can't compare it. But, so I'm gonna compare it to like an English dish, like fish and chips. And I would say that it is a, it's a 9.5. Oh! It's a 9.5. I thought he was gonna come in with like a seven or something. It's really good. Is it? It's really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I would come back here definitely. Really, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just saying. 8.5. All right. It's one of the best I've had. I think it's um, 9.5 out of 10. Have you had biryani before? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are done. The plate is pretty much empty. And these are the experiences that I love. To, to discover little gems in a city that has grown so much. And a lot of people who think about a great city like Dubai, they always think about the high rises, the big tourist spots. You know, they forget about these little gems that are really the heart and soul that have been here and, and have been time tested and make these dishes that are comforting, that, uh, you know, just make you happy. And, you know, there's always a story behind places like this, right? There's always, it's never just a magical place that just appears. You know, you hear about a family that came from Pakistan and a chef that said, you know, I want to share my recipe with the world. And that's exactly what happened. Because now people come from all over the world to test this amazing dish. And all here in the city of Dubai. Uh, where a city that I believe where dreams come true for anyone. And that's a beautiful thing. Much love, and God bless you all.